51, let's go ahead and start with a review of chart 11. So we have O says uh, 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 and shovel. A says uh, 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 and banana. C says in city. A U says off, off, off in faucet. A W says off, off, off in soft. E A says E E E in leaf. E A says E E E in thread. E A says A A A in steak. I E says E E E in brownie. E Y says E E E in key. E Y says A A A in obey. P H says in phone. C H says k k k in chorus. O U G H T says ots 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 in thought. A U G H T says ots 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 in cut. G says j j j in giant. D G E says j j j in fudge. All right, today we'll move on to new sounds on chart 11. We're gonna do IE that says E, EY that says E, and EY that says A, like in obey. All right, so look at the first word. We circle B, R, B, R, and I, E, E. The word is brief. Brief means like quickly. Next one, T, H, E, Y, A. The word is they. Next, you are er, E Y E. What's the word? Turkey. Next, O oh, that says a, uh, E Y E. Honey, honey. Next one, I E E. And that's C. Look at that C by that E. So we know we circle that C. The word is niece. And then you are er, E Y A. The word is. Survey. Let's read them. Brief, they, turkey, honey, niece, survey. All right, last week we learned a new type of sentence. At first we did declarative sentences, which are sentences that tell us something and they give us information. For example, I am going to the store on Sunday. So that's a declarative sentence. I gave you information and I told you something, right? Then we have an interrogative sentence which asks a question. Are you coming over this weekend? I just asked you something that's an interrogative. And then on Friday, we learn what's called an exclamatory sentence. And so an exclamatory sentence shows sudden expression or feeling. It's a sentence that you say with a lot of emotion. We won the championship. So that's expression. And so that's what exclamatory sentences do. They show expression. Now, de declarative sentences end with a period, interrogative end with a question mark, and exclamatory sentences end with a exclamation mark. And so that's what you put at the end of that sentence. And so subjects and predicates are still inside of each one. It doesn't matter what type of sentence it is. It will always have a subject and a predicate. You just have to know the difference between this, the sentences, okay? So that was our three that we learned so far. All right, so we also learned adding suffixes. Remember, a suffix is like I-N-G, E-D, Y, E-R, E-S-C. Suffixes go to the back of root words. So we've learned some, and we learned the rule that if our root word has a sharp vowel, and it ends with a consonant, what do we do to that consonant? We double it before we add our suffix. So we learned that rule. Today we will learn a new rule that we apply to certain words whenever we are adding a suffix to some words. So if you look at it here, all of these words end with the letter E, right? You see that, huh? So anytime a root word ends with the letter E, which is a silent E, we don't hear the E because it's actually two vowels, remember? Long vowels, the first one is long, second one is silent. So that E is actually silent. Now it has to end with the E, okay? When the E is silent, before you add your suffix, you take the E off. So you completely remove the E, you don't need it, so why keep it? 
So for example, I have slide and I want to make it sliding. So I put S L I D, take off that E and just put my I N G sliding. Okay. So anytime your root word ends with a silence E, take off the E and just put your suffix. Next take, I want to make it taking. Let's take off the E and put T A K. Let's add ing, I N G, taking. Next, bake, same thing, ends with the E, take it off. We want to make it baking. B A K, add suffix, I N G, okay? Anytime your root word ends with the silent E, take the E off and then you put your suffix, okay? So you will practice that in your workbook on today. Let's do a clue card review and we'll be done. So I have O that says uh, 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 in shovel, okay? This is an animal that lives in the savanna. He's also called the king of the jungle, but he lives in the savanna. So I don't, yeah. I would be said lion, lion. Next, A says, uh, 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 in banana. This is what we use whenever it's raining to protect us from the rain, from getting wet. We use an umbrella. Next, C says, in city. All right, this is, if we want to know how much something costs, we have to check the, we want to know how much it costs, we check the, Price. AU says off, off, off in faucets. This is if we're watching a movie and we have to get up for a second, we can do this to the movie so that we don't miss anything. We can pause the movie so we don't miss anything. And AW says off, off, off in saw. This is what crabs have. Crabs and crawfish, they all have what's called a claw. Good. All right, so that was our clue review. You can do workbook pages on today's 101 and 102.